Hi everybody, Christy here. Yes, it's that Christy. <laughs> I want to talk to you today about really simple arrangements. And you know that I'm all about what's easy, okay? So citrus is the hot thing right now, but, and this is hard for me too, but less is more sometimes. <laughs> so I have a client that has ordered these pots from me and wants the lemons in them. And it's hard to do a simple less is more in a big empty urn. So I wanna show you today how we can take this one thing and fill it up and make it work. So at your hobby store, florist foam is your friend. And take the florist foam because you're gonna need the right shape. This is just a leftover piece, so I'm just gonna kinda of show you a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I've already got another one cut out. But you lay the florist foam down and take a blade and be very careful and just cut your line around the shape of that foam. And you're gonna to wanna to cut it more at an angle. And then it should, if it doesn't pop off when you first do it, sometimes they'll just pop like that. And then that's what you're gonna stick down inside. And I'll show you, I've already got one cut. Throw that down. Big empty urn. I already cut one. You may have to trim it down a little bit more, but this just plop right down in. Now, normally I want that to be really tight, but the cool thing about these urns, and I don't know if you could, you probably can't see it, there's a hole in the bottom. And so this stem, and these are $35 a piece, uh, really cool really natural looking lemon, citrus lemon branches. They also come in oranges and other things. And if you want one, I'll put them on my moonrain.com site under shop. And it'll be on the little square store. There's a hole in the bottom and I just found the hole and I just cram it down in that hole. Sometimes you have to, of course the first one works easier than this one. Reality. But if that doesn't work, Shave it down a little bit with your X-Acto knife. Cut some of the, what this one did is it kind of flared out at the bottom. This is like your grandpa cutting his pencil in the carpentry shop, remember mm -hmm. that? <laughs> okay, there we go. That worked that time. So now that gave me something to ground it into at the bottom, but, it's not staying, so that's why we want to use the foam. Now that I know it'll go in at the bottom, that's where the ring comes in handy. Find the center, slide it through, and then you have to find the spot. And if you have to, come down at the bottom of the pot. This one doesn't come all the way through. Push this up a little higher. Works better with glasses. And then find the hole. There you go. Now, because this is got a wire body, you know you're gonna wanna adjust this. I have done this one. We're putting these on her fireplace. So it's okay for them to be a little flat on the back. Hi. So you can adjust this to sort of be the direction you want it and to take the shape you want because like I said it's wired and that can change over time you know you can move it and shift it all that good stuff um, the other thing that you do since I've got this really ugly green top and you want it to be pretty then go to your hobby store and get moss or some kind of grass or some kind of natural covering to go over it because these look pretty real. So I've already done it here on this one. You can see I've hot glued all of the little moss pieces on top. So what you do is kind of get started and then just start putting your glue and setting the moss. I mean, it's that simple. And if you get to a point where you have a hole, build the moss up, add the moss on top, just cover your edges. There's different ways that 
you can take this and make it look if you want a more tailored look like we did here then you don't take the moss out if you want it to be more drippy messy more not so structured more like me <laughs> take the moss and buy the kind of moss that you can kind of trail and pull it there's other ways you can do this as well like a florist trick a lot of florists will take a ribbon or not a ribbon but a tape and make crisscrosses all over the top of this. And that gives a place for all of these to sit in just right. And then when you're done, you have something you can be very, very proud of. So make some for yourself. Shoot me a video because I want to see it too, okay? Bye.